Hey guys, it's Nicola with your intuitive read for June 2018. This is like my 18th video. Okay, so let's continue guys. I deleted my other intro video, so I'm not have to do it all over. Um, these are general energy reads, guys. These will not resonate with everyone. So please check your sun, moon, and rising. You may resonate more with your rising sign. You may resonate more with your moon sign, according to what you're going through as well. This is an emotional situation. You may need to check your, your moon sign. Um, for those of you that would like to book a personal read with me, you can do that through my email, instantlywisdomtarot at gmail.com, which is the easiest way. But you can also book it on my website, www.instantlywisdom.net. Just go to the book now section. You'll see all the options for getting in touch with me. And for those of you that would like instant access on the go, you can download Instant Go. Type in www.instantgo.com slash intimate wisdom to get to me. You can also download that on your iPhone, iOS users. And a little update for my Instant Go users. Instant Go has updated their app. So now you can book hour long reads with me, 30 minute reads with me. You can also book weekly, monthly, and daily reads with me on the website. Please, please, please go check out Instant Go at instantgo.com slash instantwisdom to get to me. Or you can download that on your apps on your app store for my iPhone iOS users. Eventually I'm gonna get it together. For those of you that are new to my channel, hey! For those of you that are returning, how you doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you have not, make sure you hit the notification button on the side, the notification bell on the side, whatever. Make sure you hit that, and I think it's over here. Hit that notification bell on there. That's all I got. So until next time, guys. Hey, Aries Singles. It's Nicole with your intuitive read for June 2018. What messages do we have for Aries Singles? June 2018, Aries Singles. Single Aries with nobody. They want somebody. What you got for them? Single Aries. Some of you guys are needing to free yourself emotionally to feel. Someone is uh, stirring some romantic feelings within you, but you're so guarded right now. You need to free yourself. Take back control of your emotions. It's time for you to express that. Some of you guys are dealing with a soulmate. With some of you guys, you just separated from someone. That's why we got free yourself. You're still emotionally tied to someone. For true love. Got worth waiting for as an underlying energy. That means that this love is worth waiting for. We got soulmate energy in this reading, so that's pretty damn good. All right, so with expression love, some of you guys are needing to go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Like, put it out there. What do you want? Why is expression? And this was the matter of fact, and <laughs> this was the center of your couple's read, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So some of you guys may have just separated from your partner as well, and you're needing to express some type of um, emotions. Yep. With the Emperor card here and the Moon card, this is you needing to express your emotions within this new partnership, okay? This is what you've been waiting for. So this person may be your divine masculine or divine feminine soulmate, twin flame, whatever you want to call it, the person that you like the most. We got soulmate here. It says, yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, we're not going to pull on that. It says, yes, this is your soulmate. So there we go. Now, I'm going to pull on this, though, because in the crown and energy, we got separation. Why is separation in the crown of energy? It says time apart from your partners on the horizon. So either you're taking some time to yourself with this four of swords, trying to rethink this option with this three of swords. Maybe you're not wanting to let go of what you had with three of swords in reverse. This could be healing. So maybe you're just wanting to take some time to heal. Okay? That could be what it is. You just want to take some time to heal right now. You need time away from everyone just to heal and kind of reconnect with yourself. But give your relationship a chance now. Don't wait too long, okay? Be very careful because this, this is a good partnership. You don't want to wait too long and lose this. Why is, and that may be why I pull it free yourself because some of you guys are just soaking in this sorrow. You're healing, which is good, but you're soaking in the sorrow. This page is, I mean, this Knight of Swords right here, you need to kind of really speak your truth. This is about messages, sending the messages with the Page of Swords. This is about sending messages here. You are needed to speak your truth, Aries. Tell this person how you feel. Could be dealing with the Taurus. All right, so in the past, we got engagement. It says your love life is ascending to a high level of commitment. This is the past on a singles read. The Six of Pentacles is a success. So maybe you got the person that you wanted. And now you're stepping back because you're afraid. With the Magician card, you have the power to, to manifest this 
in the direction that you want to take it. What is the problem, Aries? Make the effort. I mean, you got what you want. Whatever you've been hoping for, even if it's not directly, I want this, but in your mind, you're like, oh, I wish I had this, or I, I wish this person, da 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 You got what you wanted. Make the effort. Show that you that, that this is what you want. Why is make the effort here? With the five of cups, some of you guys are needing to look at this situation from a different angle. You got a new cycle. Someone's coming in to offer you a whole new life. It may not, I mean, they probably ain't coming. You got the love of stars and underlying energy. This is soulmate energy. They may not come to you and be like, you know, oh, I'm going to give you the world. But they may come to you like, look, I'm really interested in you. And I think that, you know, we should get to know each other. And you're probably like, why? For what? Because you're still heartbroken. You're still hurt. You're not seeing it. Open your eyes. You got true love here. Okay? This may be the romance of a lifetime. Watch your love here. You're expecting the worst. You're worrying so much about this situation. You're expecting the worst of the situation. With the tower card, you need to have your aha moment and realize that this person may be a good option for you. Okay? We're getting to know each other. You could be getting to know each other now. You may think that they don't want to settle down. So you may be waiting or... That may be the issue. You feel like they don't want to settle down, like they're just juggling you. Um, and I don't think that's the case. I think they're just, you know, taking their time. Getting to know you. Like they say they want to get to know you. But finances and career, financial issues could be a factor. Or this could be within your hopes. You're hoping that either this person helps you financially. And that might be why you're ready to kind of settle down with this person really quick. But they're taking their time. They want to get to know you. Okay, so with the Queen of Wands, you're ready to move in a new direction. With the Six of Wands, you don't feel like it's going anywhere. With the Eight of Swords in reverse, you're ready to free yourself from the situation, but something will change, okay? Don't give up on this. The Four of Cups, you're being offered love, but you're not seeing it. Some of you guys just don't want it, though. And if you don't want it, by all means, don't take it. It may not be the person for you. This may be a bad connection. You got let your friends help you. It says, ask for, ask for help, ask for and accept support from others. I'm gonna get this together eventually. Why is let your friends help you here? The Ace of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Some of you guys have a new opportunity that you're just needing to cooperate. Work with this person. <laughs> Work with this person. They really want you. Like, it's what you've been waiting for. They probably just not cute like you think they gonna be, but that's all right. Come on now, I ain't cute every day. Some days I look like, I don't know what, Press to the clown, so my hair be everywhere. I'm being for real. But I'm still cute, you know? Put on my makeup, I'm like, ah, I'll be done now. That seven of wands, some of you guys are really just needing to choose to extend your energy out to this person. And maybe you'll see the difference once you open up. So let's see what Aries can do to bring more love into their surroundings for June 2018. Be in the moment. Some of you guys are needing to live in the moment. You're so stuck in the past and what happened in the past, you're not seeing the love that's presented to you right now. We got elevation within a love read. Come on now. Come on, y'all. Go and get that. Get that mouth. All right, so with elevation, it says you are making a conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. Some of you guys are just needing to be humble, okay? This is what you want. You got what you want. Have patience. It'll come to you the way that needs to come to you. They just want to get to know you. Almost choked. Let's read from the goddess, goddess oracle deck. You may get choked up when you talk to them, or they may get choked up, and that's why you're like, whoa, what's going on? All right. What messages? Well, Aries, give me your messages. Some of you guys are needing to be receptive. Leave whatever you have in the past with endings and beginnings. You got something new coming for you. Be receptive to, to accepting this abundance into your life. We got sacred space. Connect with yourself. There we go with that fertility card again, y'all. Somebody pregnant, okay? Somebody is pregnant. All right, your house, of course, somebody pregnant, but I'm saying somebody watching this, y'all finna find out y'all pregnant. Or you just finna have a baby. It says your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in occupancy. Some of you guys are moving, and it is a great move. It may be a new great start for some of you guys within a relationship as well. That's all I got. Have a good night.